But we're here in Mayor Street uh, in, uh, at Spencer Dock to launch our A Better Dublin is Possible uh, document. And really it's a document about saying we want a Dublin which is for people and for communities and not just for the property developers who are making enormous money on the developments you can see uh, around us. And that's why we chose this location. These residents here have been treated with contempt for 20 years, suffocated with dust, uh, their light taken away from them. But there's no amenities, there's nothing for the public, there's nothing for the community and this is symbolic of what's happening all over Dublin. Ordinary people are being driven out simply to uh, benefit property developers making a fortune, building buildings that nobody can afford, accommodation that nobody can afford, getting massive tax breaks where they don't even pay taxes on it. So we want a different type of Dublin. A Dublin for people, a Dublin with affordable accommodation, with decent public transport, with parks, with community amenities, community facilities, where there's arts for the people, uh, where services are accessible uh, and affordable for everybody. What we need to fight carbon emissions and congestion in Dublin is free public transport and proper cycling infrastructure to allow people to use other forms of transport rather than the car. We need more public spaces, we need more street benches, we need public fountains in our parks. We need more funding for art centres and communities. We need safe, segregated cycleways in order to force people out of their cars and onto their bikes. People before profit are 100% committed to building public housing on public land and we have a great track record in councils of making sure that none of the council owned land is sold off to private developer interests. We believe that the only way to solve the housing crisis is for a local authority led mass scheme of home building on public land. A better Dublin needs to learn from building mistakes of the past. We need to make sure more infrastructure is incorporated, more community hubs for local businesses and more community local centres for care of the elderly. Yeah, we want uh, proper workers' rights uh, for, for workers, people before profit are standing without workers. Uh, we want to make Dublin a trade union town, we want to put obviously workers' rights at the top of the agenda. There's a lot of people working at bogus employment, uh, zero hour contracts. We want to make Dublin a single-use plastic free city. Multinational corporations are the biggest polluters um, of single-use plastic and we need to put pressure on them to switch to compostables. We also need to put water fountains in to stop the use of, of um, plastic water bottles. The Dublin, the Dublin we want is one that has an inclusive public transport system, one by which the DART stations, lifts are working so that the elderly and disabled can get up to the platforms and get on their, their trains and go to work, buses that run on time that are not overcrowded because the government hasn't reinstated the amount of buses they've taken off due to the recession. We want a Dublin that is, is there for everyone and that's a greener, more friendly Dublin. We want development that's for the community. We're for development in People Before Profit. What we're not for is gentrification, what's happening across Dublin City. We see the 1% through vulture funds and developers buying up mass property, building high story buildings with no consultation of residents no engagement to the community, all the green spaces are being taken and it's time we ask whose city is this? Is it for the people of Dublin or is it for the 1%?